It's a new year and it's a great time to make some resolutions. I just got a job as a senior developer and one of my resolutions is to become a better developer. And one of the tools that I'm going to be using to do that is Frontend Masters. I'll be working through as much course curriculum as I can over the next eight to 10 weeks. This is the first video in the series and we're gonna look at the platform, see what they have to offer and how I'm going to approach this challenge. Check it out. Here we are at Frontend Masters. As you can see, they are pretty cool. They talk about, you guessed it, front end development. So they have a bunch of tweets about them here. Uh, Tyler McGinnis did this as well. I do like that concept. All right, here at pricing, you can see it's $39 a month or $3.90 a year, and then they have um, team licenses as well. So if you're looking to get into it, that's what you're gonna be paying. Uh, let's go ahead and see what they have here. Learning paths, of course, I'm all about learning paths. This is actually what I'm here for. We have beginner, professional, expert, computer science, full stack design. I mean, there are a ton of different paths here and I'm going to be taking as many as I can and completing as many as I can in about eight to 10 weeks. And we'll go over that plan shortly, but let's just go ahead and dive into some of these. So here for computer science, uh, we have a bunch of different uh, Different instructors, Bianca here, uh, she does a lot of great stuff. I've taken one of her courses in the past, loved it. And we have just a bunch of guys that I haven't seen before. And that's just for the computer science. Uh, in our professional area, nice little animation there. We have a bunch of heavy hitters here. Uh, Kyle Simpson, one of my favorite guys. So I'm excited and they have a lot more courses other than just what's here. So as you can see, there are a ton of courses here. I can just scroll all the way down and, and there's just so many. Now with some of these, uh, I'm gonna talk about it later, but there is some overlap. So if you go on an expert level, uh, you might do some JavaScript stuff here, and then you'll also see that when you come to the JavaScript uh, path, that there's gonna be overlap, which is what I'm counting on. It is on um, iPad, I know that for sure. And the thing about the iPad version is that I can't get paths, but I can select courses that I've already watched, which is unfortunate, but I get it. Uh, as far as the site, of course, it's fully responsive. And so it's, it's nice and light too. So we've looked at the site, we've seen some of the courses, but how the heck am I going to break this down and uh, be able to complete this stuff? Well, I've done this many times before, and I'm gonna share with you uh, how I have a game plan for tackling challenges like this. So as you can see here, I have designed to code as my number one as I work with a lot of designers, and these numbers here uh, indicate how many hours they're going to take per course, and that's only with the actual straight video. So there's design to code, uh, beginner, professional. You see those little stars here on beginner and computer science? That's because I'm going to, be, going to be using those during exercise. So I'm going to be on a treadmill or on an elliptical and I'll just take my courses that way. Uh, easy way to get some extra effort in there. And so I've laid them all out on the order that I want to go through. And some of these are going to change, I'm sure, or I'm going to go through different ones. So how many hours is this? Uh, total hours, I added it up to be 283. Now, another thing I should tell you, these are rough estimates. If it's underneath uh, 30 minutes, it goes down. If it's over 30 minutes, it goes up to the next hour. Like I said before, there is a lot of overlap in these courses. So it's probably closer like to like 230 or 200 hours. So how am I going to tackle this uh, over the coming weeks? Well, this is the approach that I came up with. Uh, during the weekday, I'll have three hours to study, and that is pretty conservative because I'm sure I could bump it up to four or four and a half, but, uh, you know, varying from day to day, it's going to probably average out to be three hours, and then an hour and a half in gray, which is during exercise. So a half hour during my lunch, and then maybe an hour after work. I can do that at the gym because I have a gym at work. So that's going to be about four and a half hours every weekday. Now on weekends, it's going to be a lot tougher. Uh, every weekend day is going to be eight hours or more. Granted, it's probably going to be more on like a Sunday or a Saturday and less on a different day, but average eight hours. And then again, another hour in the gym every day uh, comes to nine hours. What does that mean for the overall hours? Well, week total, we have four and a half hours times five days is 22 and a half hours. Week in total, we have nine times two, of course, which is 18 hours. And we have nine and a half of those, uh, those hours are going to be during exercise. So they're not going to be 
totally committed. Uh, so, so, uh, you know, I, I'm trying to get through as much as I can while not like becoming a total slob or like ruining my health. So that's about 40 and a half hours. Is it doable? You bet. And I've done it before while working full time and not developing, but it is going to be a struggle. It's going to be a sacrifice. So the course total again is 283 hours. Now we have a full week worth of study of 40 and a half hours. What's that going to come down to? Well, we're going to have a total of 6.99 weeks to do this. So 283 divided by 40, 40 and a half. And that's pretty optimistic. Again, I, I set aside about eight to 10 weeks. And so even though there is some overlap with some of these courses, I'm for sure probably gonna be more on the nine to 10 weeks. As you can see, there is a ton of content to go through and I have my work cut out, but you've seen my plan. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about it and take you on this journey and share what is working for me, what I'm learning and um, start the new year off right. Now I'm gonna be doing this series every other week, but I'll still have a video come out every week. And of course there's gonna be some live streams thrown in, the, in there as well. What do you think? Is Front End Masters is something you've had on your radar? Does this look interesting to you? Uh, what do you have to say about it? Let me know in the comment section below and any courses that you've seen on Front End Masters that you think I should take a look at. Consider subscribing to the channel if you like this type of content and leave me a like or a comment to let me know how I'm doing or anything you want to add. All right, that's it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.